Okay, so this is Manjaro 20.04 Lycia, uh, and this is the XFCE version, uh, which is the lighter of the two versions available. So I did KDE yesterday, uh, this is the XFCE version. Looks very similar on sort of first look, but you'll notice that everything's just subtly a little bit different because obviously it's using a different system overall. So you can see you can add favorites into here. So if you start an app uh, and then you right click it, you can add it to favorites. And so that comes up on that first bar, which is nice. But you also have this dock at the bottom here. So say I wanted to add SM player to the dock, I can add it to the panel. For some reason it comes up over here. Uh, and I don't know quite why it does that, but if I do, if I right click on it, I can move it and then I can pull it back over here and put it wherever I want. So you can see that's nice and quick to do. I've made this a bit bigger as I, as I do in some of my videos. I just prefer a bigger dock. I just think it looks nicer. Um, but uh, it comes really quite small. So it comes similar size to these icons here down in the dock. But I, I as I say, I like to have a slightly bigger dock. So you can see here we've got volume controls, we've got Bluetooth, we've got information, it looks like that might be because it's got a little uh, notification there, it looks like it might be, yeah, so that's telling us what updates and upgrades there are, and you can see, just like the KDE version, it runs really well. I purposefully haven't overclocked this, so this is running stock. Because it's a lighter version, I figured that would be uh, quite a decent test to do. And to be fair, I haven't found it to be slow at all. Uh, I found it excellent. So this is showing my internet connections. I'm on a wired connection at the moment. And then uh, you see we've got a calendar there. That's quite handy to have that just pops up. What happens if I click on my name? Oh, there you go. So that's log out, shut down and things like that as well. Again, very logical, very easy to work. Uh, you've got these two desktop environments here. I'm sure you can probably add more. Um, but uh, if I switch to the second desktop and start that uh, media player up and then go back to this desktop and put Firefox on there, you can see I can switch between the two really easily. Really nice. So uh, obviously you can see Terminal is there. File Manager, if we call that up, and let's just minimize Firefox. As I found with KDE, uh, it doesn't recognize my NAS drive straight out the bat. Obviously you can set it up to use it, but this is this is just one of the tests I do with an operating system. So my NAS drive just doesn't, doesn't show up. Um, but uh, obviously it's very easy to configure, but I like these things to work straight out. Uh, and lots of people have NAS drives now, and uh, other people feel the same as me. But you can see from the ordinary folders, it just looks really neat. Uh, very very nicely done. You know all of these drop downs are very simple and again very snappy look Really quick on a non overclocked Raspberry Pi. This is the 4 gig model uh, So if I go back to the start bar, let's just flick through all applications accessories so things like clipboard manager uh, What's that a GUI for installing? selecting and manipulating quantum themes so it looks like it's easy to change the themes on this. Mousepad notes, screenshot. Nice to see, entire screen, active window, select a region. Education, LibreOffice Maths, Graphics, LibreOffice Draw, View Noir. Internet, so Firefox is the browser on this. Multimedia, so audio, video. Yeah, several things on there. Full LibreOffice on here, and what's this? Slow show clocks from different. Oh, okay. Comes up rather small. Uh, so, Office settings. You can see all the settings. Looks really nice. So, XFC terminal software update. Let's see what the software update looks like. So, if I wanted to search, actually, you can't search. Oh, you can search for here. That browse. Uh, and so. There's my search bar. So if I wanted RetroArch, there you go. So RetroArch is there, and I can click on Install and install that. Yeah, I get really Manjaro is is really nice, isn't it? It's it's a really good looking operating system. It feels nice and snappy. So let's try running an internet test. So let's go with Firefox. And let's do BBC, and we'll open another tab. 
our UK deals. I always do these two because they've got quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of content on their pages. If we go back to BBC, it's still loading that. Yeah, so without the overclock, even though this is a lightweight operating system, now always remember with this, this is pretty much my first time booting up this system. I haven't applied all the updates or anything like that. I'm just looking at it as a uh, to see how it looks as an operating system and sort of show it. But uh, it could probably do with some updates because it is a bit sluggish. It's a bit jerky on the scrolling. Uh, I haven't tried Chromium, but obviously you could install Chromium and try that on this. So web performance isn't as good. Uh, and so if you look back at my video on KDE, uh, it was overclocked to 2147, so it's not a fair test, but that was much nicer to use. But so as an operating system, I really like it. Uh, again, really polished, really easy to use. Uh, you know, you could give this to someone who, who has used a, a computer in the last 10 years and they wouldn't struggle to find things on there. There's lots of things already pre-installed. So, uh, so yeah, I like it. Uh, but I would, for me, I would definitely run this overclocked. Uh, so anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.